You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what's cracking? And welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart's Radio. And I'm your host, Danny Mussolini. Uh, we have a special guest. I think this is the last guest for tonight. Then we're going to call it a wrap. Enjoy Gobble Gobble Day tomorrow and come back at you uh, tomorrow night, I believe. Yeah, I think we got a special show tomorrow. Two artists are going to be here in the studio to get it on and uh, play some awesome music. So, yeah, make sure you guys tune in for that. Uh, We won't disappoint, I promise. All right, in the meantime, before we bring our special guests on and wrap this thing up for tonight, I just want to tell you guys, will things happen to you today or will things happen through you today? There's a big difference. You know, those who see things as happening to them are, you know, but, you know, but, you know, but let me say this. By that very perspective, reinforcing the conviction that they have little or no control over their own lives. By contrast, those who see things as happening through them operate from a far more powerful and effective position. Though it is certainly unfair that you would be expected to assume responsibility for every aspect of your life, it is nonetheless the very best strategy for filling that life with richness and with meaning. Many of the circumstances and events surrounding you are not of your own choosing. In no way did you bring them about. Still, when you're able to consider those things as happening through you, as being under your own responsibility, then they will work in your favor. There is a world of abundance surrounding you. If only you will step up and claim it. Because if you don't, somebody else will. Make a life happen through you rather than letting it happen to you. It will make all the difference in the world. Take that from me, Dennis Mussolini. That is my word, and word is fun. Yo, hello, and welcome to another incredible episode of Behind the Mind series, where we dive into the universe of the people who create these marvelous aspirations. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas, and for my vigilantes audience family. And of course, my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian, pescatarian, or vegans. We are averaging over 41,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for seven solid years. I appreciate all of you guys who have been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, education, news, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you and an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, educators, visual artists, from authors to professors and vampires. Or people think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and chat with Denny. So check it out to book an interview or to appear on my other show, Skeptics. Email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. That's V as in Victor. Or you can email me at chatwithdenny.com. 
at onlyonemediagroup.com. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That's Vigilante's radio purpose. You know the number to dial. 701-801-9813 Share that number with your buddy right now And tell them to tune in To connect with us or our guests Or you can hop in the mix directly from my website Onlyonemediagroup.com Right from the homepage You can slap that go live button And you'll be right here live in the mix And in the chat room with all of us So feel free to shoot over some questions To ask our guests while they are here But only as time permits sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much. And as always, all episodes are available for free download. You can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iHeart's Radio, Spotify, iTunes, Castbox, Player FM, YouTube, or any app from the Google Play or iTunes Store or over at our website. I've conducted over 1,000 interviews and counting. All right, all right. Again, you're listening to VRL, that is Vigilantes Radio Live, right here on iHeart Radio. And I'm your host, Denny. Just in case you forgot that quick, my name. I don't mind mentioning it again, I promise you. It's no ailment to me. All right, uh, our interviews go beyond the music, the news, the books, the, uh, the acting, the films, the movies, the businesses, the technology, the education, entertainment, and sometimes even the ego. We go behind the scenes and into the minds of these awesome people, you know, the ones who are out here giving it their all for you, for me, and the world. And with that, let's go ahead and welcome Johnny Walker to our show. Yo, 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 what is up, man? What's up, man? How you doing, Jeannie? You got it. You got it, man. I thought there was a werewolf, man, but that, that's you. What's up, Jeannie? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> good, 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 man. I'm, uh, I'm just chill. I'm still working. I'm in the studio uh, working, playing back some, uh, some of the songs we're about to put on this uh, new, uh, new EP we're about to drop. All right, all right, all right. So, is this the the Wonderland EP, or is this is something totally different? Uh, yeah, we're doing a deluxe version of it, so uh, Wonderland dropped like October 9th, and uh, I'm going to have the deluxe version come out in uh, probably December. Nice. Nice for Christmas, right? <laughs> yeah. A little bit more like All Halloween right. music, but uh, I think it'll be a nice little Christmas gift. It has like four new tracks on it. Yeah. Hey, man, I've seen some scary Christmas flicks, so... It may work. It may work, you know, <laughs> hand in hand there. But yeah, man, so tell us about the original version of Wonderland, and then we'll get into the deluxe version. But uh, tell us everything we need to know about this EP. Um, it's, uh, it's a project uh, I was putting together over the course of like a year. Like I just dropped my first song, Summer of 2019, and then uh, we went in trying to build the sound, you know, that I was trying to create. It's uh, it's like, you know, kind of like heavy rock influenced and uh, kind of like dark melodic instrumentals. Um, but yeah, it's a six track EP. And uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's dope. It's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. It uh, came together really well. Absolutely, man. So what attracts you to this type of music that you perform and record? Um, I guess like the same thing that attracts all of us to what uh, what we gravitate towards. Uh, you know, like the movies that I watch, the music that I listen to, how I grew up, you know, everything's kind of just like an amalgamation of, of what we see and hear, you know, that we decide to take in. So it's uh, really, it's just uh, it's a part of me. You know, I guess all the music that I make is in some way a part of me. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll get back to the music, but uh how 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 did you grow up? Um I'm I live, I'm living in uh, I'm living in LA now. Uh it's it's a lot nicer than where I'm from. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um I grew up like in uh in between like the city in Cincinnati and like on the outskirts in Indiana, but uh uh, I uh, I grew up with like single mom, you know, uh, and uh, I've been living on my own since I was like 16. So um, yeah, like I've been living on my own since I was a teenager. Finished high school, like got my own apartment when I was like 17, wow. and uh, I, I moved out here uh, a few years after that on on my own and just started uh, 
started trying to figure out, you know, how to get my feet on the ground in the city. So I opened a cannabis company back in the day when I first got out here. And, uh, you know, it was like in recording studios a lot and stuff and finally got it to the point where I was, you know, financially sound enough that I could sit and focus on the music enough to, you know, start putting projects together and putting stuff out. So I, I dropped my first single, uh, like at this little, we did, I did like a co-sponsor thing with the BET Awards last summer. And uh, yeah, just been building from there. Wow, wow. All right, all right. So from, uh, I wouldn't say troubled uh, childhood, but I would say like more of uh, the soldier story, you know, uh, childhood upbringing. And then you, you made yourself into a man at uh, 16, 17, then v- venture into uh, music. But man, I'm the type of guy to like to know like the in betweens, you know. Um, like, how how did you like financially support yourself? Uh, you know, in those early days, get an apartment on your own at 17. Like, that's amazing. Shit, yeah, lying, lying on the application, telling them I was 18, and just ah. kind of working my way, <laughs> working my way through the system to figure it out. But uh, I mean, just hustling, man. Like, just hustling nonstop, nonstop, whatever I could. I used to buy and sell cars when I was a teenager. Uh, I got kicked out of my house. Uh, I got kicked out of my house. Uh, like after my mom passed away and uh i got kicked out like a month later and so uh i like had to hit the ground running and figure shit out real real quick uh yeah man hustling selling weed and selling cars whatever i could for sure for sure man so at some point though you begin to turn to music and and even turn it into a professional thing um going back to those moments man you know discovering your talents for music uh so when did that begin um, I mean, I've been a published poet since I was like nine years old. Um, I I grew up wow. like reading poetry nonstop, like Edgar Allan Poe. I was that's probably why the music's so so dark, um, and uh, has that like darker tone. Um, yeah, I, I've been into writing and reading and like since I was like real young. I used to write stories and uh, I uh, yeah like, I used to write poetry and. I'm a culture junkie, you know, I've been taking this stuff in since I was a baby, like, I grew up listening to, like, Bone Thugs and, like, Camp Low and, like, Diggity Doss Effects type stuff and, like, and, like, Pink Floyd and, you know, like, Jimi Hendrix, so, I mean, ever since I was, you know, like, two years old, three years old, I've had so much, you know, musical influence on me, Um, I've always been into it, I just was never able to take it seriously um, until, you know, I had enough like I had a way to support myself, you know, because I just it was like, do I want to like, you know, work and have a place to live or go couch surf and make the music? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, all right, cool. I, deal. Yeah, I don't, also I don't notice, got, like, man. I don't got a ton of friends, so you know, the couch surfing thing wouldn't have even really worked. Now you don't look like the type of the guy that don't have a lot of friends. I've seen the the clips on Instagram, and uh, you look you look like <laughs> the man of the city. Who's never sure Man, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, uh, man, it's, uh, LA's a lonely place, man. It's like, it's a real social place, but yeah, LA's a, LA's a strange city. It's like, it's like Gotham by the sea. Absolutely, man. Like, um, we went over there. I'm originally from Mississippi, which is a, you know, southern state. Mm-hmm. Uh, not the country, not the country like walking barefoot and stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> right. from the gritty slums. Yeah, from the gritty slums. And, you know, I went over to LA and I didn't want to leave because of all the adventures that I could get into. You know, the being from a town where everyone knows you, going to a city where no one knows you is almost a complete rush for me because it's like, all right, yeah. So now I can, you know, really spread these wings here and i didn't want to leave but you know that's that that city has so much it can give and take from you uh you can either go there and be a star you can either go there and be homeless Uh, it's kind of a thin line between both yeah eat people Uh, up but yeah man so how how did you deal with the transit transition uh from ohio to california Oh man, it it was the second I stepped foot in California. I was like, this feels like you know way more like home than where I'm from. Uh, oh, wow. Real, real easy. Yeah, I, yeah, I love this place. I don't have anything bad to really say about it. You know, I uh, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I love this city. 
All right, cool deal. So what about heritage, man? Um, where where are you originally from? Your background, stuff like that. Um, well, I'm from Cincy, but I'm first generation American. Like uh, my, my dad's from Africa. He's uh, he's from Morocco. So I'm like nice. like French North African, and then my mom's uh, side of the family was um, like Native American, like Cherokee. 